Okay, say hi. Say hi, Chopo. Okay, Chopo, say hi. Okay, we're husband's home, so um, I got me a grabber now, but I'm gonna go check Ulta. I'm not gonna trouble this look out. I'm not gonna bring my grabber unless I actually see something. So, that stumps are still empty. I don't see anything but trash bags. I'm gonna come back and I'll look more uh, deeper tomorrow morning. It's gonna be Sunday morning. And in Texas, everything kind of opens pretty late. So, we've tried to go over. Have no clue why he decided he was gonna sit in the driver's seat. But apparently, he thought he could honk his honk the horn. Now, okay. <clears throat> now we're off. I think I'm gonna just check Target real quick because it's right here. And then we'll head over to Bed Bath & Beyond. And I guess that'll be that for the day. So, I'll just take a look real quick. I've got my grabber close at hand. I've got gloves if I need them. It says toys. Out. Maybe trouble. I don't know if you can see him. <laughs> Look out, cat. Oh man, I can't get this one open anymore. Okay. We'll just call it quits for Target. But mm, I got those really cool knives yesterday. And oh uh Oh, I'll come back over tomorrow morning in the morning before everything opens before people are here and uh, that'll make it easier to look in a lot of these trash cans because <sighs> you know even though I was told by Lubbock PD it is not against the law that um but just to you know they they said just uh be um be cautious uh don't go <clears throat> into personal dumpsters like on apartment complexes because those have personal papers going there without the uh permission from the property owner or the property manager can get you arrested because that is against the law because of all that personal stuff but um The other ones, as long as it doesn't say no trespassing, he doesn't see a problem with it. <laughs> okay. It's okay, Trouble. <laughs> okay. It's okay, baby. We're just down the street from um, the West End. And we're going to go check one dumpster real quick over there. And if no luck, then no luck. And we'll try tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning we'll be able to check more um, dumpsters because it will, you know, everything, it's a Sunday so everything kind of opens up later. So if I get up in the morning, this morning when I got up, it was dark and freezing. And I was like, nope, not going out. Laid back down and I passed out. So, <laughs> otherwise I probably would have been able to hit quite a few others, but... You know how that goes after a busy week, especially if you're a parent. You might have a 17 year old at home that goes to school full time. She actually works full time, gets A's and B's. Me and her dad made the agreement with her that she could work um, full time as long as her grades stayed up. She's an AB student, mostly A student. Um, and her work actually there's a class at her school that she takes and that class actually she gets credit for going to work 
so she gets out earlier than the other students usually on a every day well on every day so all right we're gonna hit this west end here and then um, we'll call it a day I've got a couple other errands I have to run um, if by chance I jump into any of those dumpsters or check out any of those dumpsters I'll definitely take y'all with me but I don't think I will this just all happened to be kind of on my way. Besides that, I kind of want to get home. My husband got home real early this morning. And as I've told you in a previous video, he's a truck driver. And we thought he was going to be home for like a week. Turns out he's only going to be home until Monday. Then he's got to go do some more runs. And then he'll be home for like a week after that. So, yeah. So, you can see this... Com oh, sorry. You can see this shopping complex. Yeah, baby. Need you, baby. He's like, okay, I know where we are now. See, there's all these. Oops, sorry. Uh, all these other shops in here. They're building something there. I have no clue what it is, but. They've been building it for a little over a year. All right. Oh my. Don't know. I don't know. Well, yeah. Yeah. I'll go take a look. Okay, I'm holding this parking spot right here. Okay, guys. Trouble, you keep an eye out. I know I've been told to take my stuff with me, so in case I find something, but, you know, I just, I don't think I've gotten brave enough to do that yet, so. <laughs> One of the construction workers is yelling from the top of the building. There's a bunch of paper in there. Like invoices. Those bags are looking like just plastic. Oh. Shoot. Okay. I gotta go grab my grabber real quick. <laughs> There's a guy up there on the top of the building yelling. So. <laughs> Hold on, trouble. I need the grabber. Might have actually found something here. Bed Bath and Beyond. So let's see. Oh, ooh. I see now why y'all say grab your grabbers, take your stuff with you. Okay. Oh shit. Shoot. Sorry. Language. I don't know if you can see. Oh, that box is empty. coffee's down there and we just got rid of our coffee maker that those coffees get used in I think what I'm going to have to do 
is get my husband, get him to come back over here. But, for the, well, they spray painted that though. No, they spray painted that. Look at this, a pillow. It's not spray painted and it's not been cut. As I looked at the other stuff that's in there that I was trying to grab, like the, uh, Cuisinart and stuff that the, the it's been cord's been cut and it's been spray painted real bad and all the pieces to it have been spray painted. Oh, double look! Look, okay, look guys, it's dirty, but I can wash it. But check it out. It's not been cut and it's not been spray painted. Yay! Second day of a find. Cool. So I'll just take this home and wash it and oh, I can definitely use it. Okay, so like I was saying, the other stuff that was in there that I was looking at, trying to get, the cord on that electric thing had been cut because I got a better look at it. And the other little stuff that was in there that I was trying to grab, well, that all just was spray painted badly. Now, I know I had, somebody had said something about a paint stick with a like a hook thingy on it to get longer in there. I think I'll get one of those too. Um, but, okay, score. We scored something today. Something's always better than nothing. Yay. All right. Well, then I will catch y'all tomorrow. Um, don't forget to like this video share it and subscribe to my channel all right yay found something i'm always happy something's better than nothing thanks for watching guys see you tomorrow bye